you one more time ask what you thought the Academy Museum was doing? So we're at the Academy, meaning it's all about music? <laughs> nope. Okay, welcome to the World Rolls. That's us, and we are here at the... Amphis Museum. That is the Academy of Motion Pictures, Arts, and Science, I believe. Better known as Musicians. Musicians. No, no. So it's the Academy Museum staff. I'd like to thank my friends for not making fun of me. So we're gonna go explore, and you guys get to come with us. Let's give, give it, it a whirl! whirl. Oh, what's his name? His name is Cherry. He doesn't talk a lot, which is actually really attractive. It's weird, I thought his name would have been Oscar. That's his middle name. Oh, Cherry Oscar. Dude, the see no more from Alien, designed by the king himself, H.R. Giger. Well-deserved visual effects Oscar. I'm taking this home. He is having a nerd orgasm. Look, it's all my favorite movies. 2001 Space Odyssey. 2001 Space Odyssey. Blade Runner. Not a big Depp girl, but was a massive Edward Scissorhands girl. Imagine being able to cut your bushes. I'm not talking about that bush. You remember that time that a woman fell in love with a fish and then fucked him? If you're giving me a middle finger or a sop. Sucks so good. Your eyes roll to the back of your head like. That's one hideous sin of the bitch. You're one ugly motherfucker. Well, that's just like your opinion, man. <laughs> First time I've ever seen the Oscars in person. An Oscar in person? Yeah. Person. How does it feel? Incredible. I just can't believe that you work your whole life for something and, and it's in a museum. That belongs in a museum! We would never donate our shit to the museum. No. <laughs> I'm keeping my statue actually in the bathroom. <laughs> so uh, we are in the Pedro Almodovar Gallery. Pedro Almodovar is a very famous Spanish director who's done incredible movies, writes women really well, uh, has done movies like All About My Mother, Talk to Her, Volver with Penelope Cruz, watch his movies if you haven't. Uh, he does crazy women really well because it's basically about women being cut up with society and the world. Huh. And really, really good. your hubby. Holy shit. You guys are gonna have to bust me out of jail because I'm stealing this? Yeah. <laughs> I get that. Acknowledging the truth. Acknowledging the truth. Cause like, the fuck? What does it mean when they say everything's free in America? Like it's a free country. But nothing. But nothing's free. We just came out of the Miyazaki exhibit. We can't film there. It's the only place we can't film, but it was a true experience of beauty. Oh my God. There were so many storyboards of all the movies. There was the poems that Hayao Miyazaki wrote for the staff of Princess Mononoke about how much he admired and respected the forest and nature. And how beautiful of a respect he pays to nature. I love Disney, but it's just different. And then we found Roxy, who in the best location, it was this part where you were under the clouds. Yeah, there was this really cool screen of clouds that were just going by, like animated clouds that were moving. And there's this patch of grass to lay on to look at it. It was really cool. Yeah. Legend. My neighbor, Totoro. 
So this is Bruce from Jaws, ladies, yes. not Bruce from Finding Nemo. I know that you were both confused. Yeah, we were confused. <laughs> we were confused. We were confused. We were confused. Yeah, it wasn't me. Was yeah, I knew we're, it. We're not yeah. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Do the world girls. <laughs> I move that the founding fathers become the founding mothers. And instead of Mount Rushmore, we'll call it Mount Spushmore. Because we keep it what? This entire room is Wizard of Oz. <laughs> Wizard of Oz. And it's unbelievable how well everything holds up and wow. Wait, can I do the Lawrence Juice one yeah. before they catch me? Yeah. Do I look creepy? <laughs> Here's a scary story, everybody. All our tax money goes to the LAPD. Here's a Here's a scary story. All dogs don't go to heaven. Oh, ha, ha, ha. Here's a scary story. <laughs> <laughs> what's, the, what's the name of the museum? I think we've done it wrong every time. All right, so we just got out of the Academy Museum of Motion Pictures. There it is. And we did it, we finally said it right. And it was really cool. I got to see a freaking Xenomorph designed by H.R. Giger. The Midsummer dress, like the, the May Queen dress. What were your guys' favorite things? My favorite room was the room with all of the actual Academy Awards and the timeline that went around talking about who won when and was playing the videos of the acceptance speeches because it was just wild to see over the years how things had changed and what kind of things that we value as a society, what kind of stories. I love the Miyazaki exhibit. It's the only exhibit we couldn't film in. And then I love seeing the sci-fi room, seeing like C-3PO, R2-D2, Okoye, like all these costumes. It's just insane to think about how many people it takes to make these beautiful creations and then we just get to watch them. Well, thanks for giving it a whirl with us. Make sure to like, subscribe, share it, all of that. Much love, world friends. You two found home, but with three, because world girls. Do you give us a warning? I'm sorry, Dave. I'm afraid I can't do that. You're all going to die, so don't be a dick. Right? <laughs> Seth's been looking for us for 45 <laughs> minutes. How's it going, Ma? I walk a lonely road, the only road that I have ever known. Don't know where it goes, but it's home to me, and she walks alone.